I see it? Absolutely. Hey everyone, welcome. We're done to the mite here, post editing. Throughout this video, I'll be narrating some segments here and there to provide you guys with some context. Today's video, we're running 400 meters again at a track at a high school in Metro Atlanta. Just four days after the 400 we ran in the previous video. Here I'm just doing some stretching to warm up right as we got to the track. Now here I'm stretching my hip flexors. They were really tight. I don't know if you caught that, but that I tried to make that sound loud enough so that you could hear, make it clear. But that was the sound oh, of my hip popping. As you can tell, I was happy with the relief that I got from that. Oh, we should go quickly before that lock again. Really improved my range of motion. Did you hear that? Mm -hmm. Now here's just some stretching. Just fast forwarding through parts like this. Just some static and dynamic stretching. Nothing major. Getting loose before we run. attempt to better our time and the last time we did this just four days earlier I really wanted to make sure I warmed up properly and stretched because my hip flexor my left hip flexor was extremely tight now right. here I'm using a foam roller I'm just gonna do this really quickly only did this for a little bit just a massage you know, get a relatively deep tissue massage and some of the muscles in my lower body. Now here, this is a random clip of me drinking water I threw in. Because I forgot to include it in the intro. So. Now here, I get ready to... I'll do one this way, then one that way. Do some strides, do some drills. Mm -hmm. Just warm up the legs a bit. I was winging it for half of these. It's a little bit scuffed. I haven't done anything like this in years since I was in college running for the University of Georgia. But yeah, just doing a few drills. I actually didn't do strides until we got down to the track, I think. And here we're just walking down to the track. Got the spikes in the bag. Now here I was just explaining to come to the start, that this is where the start line is. Just tying my shoes. Now, don't judge, these spikes are really old, and they're for distance running. I can't remember if these are cross-country spikes or track spikes, but either way, they're meant for distance races. Like 5,000 meters, 8,000 meters, 10,000 meters. Definitely not 400 meters, so. But hey, it's better than what I was wearing on Wednesday. I was wearing shoes that weren't even meant for running. Now here I'm just this can be like a doing a Okay, because they're gonna quit and then that guy will be gone. I know so it's come I on. wanna count like okay. he'll be counting, so I'm okay. right, I'll count myself if you wanna do it. Three, two. Here I'm just doing some strides to warm up the legs and get a feel for the pace that I'll be trying to run. Just did a stride out on the first curve just to get a feel for that speed of the first hundred meters. You can see me on the other side of the track really hammering home stretches in my hamstring. You know, no pun intended. My hamstring was really tight. It was already tight before Wednesday. And then for those that watched the video where I ran the 400 on Wednesday, that video, that 400 made my hamstring way more tight. Like my left hamstring was hurting at this very moment right before we filmed the 400. Um, so I was just trying to stretch and keep it as loose as possible because I did not want my leg to cramp up during the 400. Because then I'd have to stop and we'd have to film another day. All right. 
So that's why you see me holding my, my left hamstring right there. Um, While I'm down there, I'm gonna ask them to move the tripod and ask them if they'll help you. Okay, there you go. Okay, just let me just massage my, my hamstring is, sorry, I'm not, okay, my hamstring is very tight. I don't want to cramp up. Cause I'll, I could get injured. Like it felt very tight right there. Mm -hmm. Just my left. So I need just a little, yeah, it just took some extra time to really stretch that hamstring. Here I'm just doing a stride in the last like 50 meters. Getting a feel for the straightaway too. Okay. Now here we're getting ready to start. And I have somebody helping film. And I also asked somebody that was at the track to take my stopwatch and time the race for us. Uh, if you want to uh, do like a 3 2 one, or if you want to. All right, I'll say three, two, one. Now here we don't have a whistle or anything. As soon as he sees me moves, he'll start. Yeah. So yeah. I was just asking him to count down so I know All where right. to start. He's gonna try to give me a two-minute yeah. split. Yeah. And the guy with the watch is gonna try to tell okay. me. Okay. Uh, Ready. One, two, three, go. And here I start. Quick start. Uh, start. Oh, stop, Steven! I didn't start. But the guy start. helping. Shout out to this guy right here. That's Calvin. Shout out to Calvin. I asked this random guy to help us. Uh, time the race he's got my stopwatch there it didn't start but i forgot to explain him how to use it so we had to restart <laughs> but at least i got a good feel for a start and some speed got the legs moving but yeah after i explained him how to use it you know we run it for real my fault i didn't show him how to use it sorry cousin no, no problem. so here now we're really getting ready to go Ready, one, two, three, go. We were off to a pretty quick start, at least for a distance runner. Went through 100 meters in just under 14 seconds maybe. And then it's kind of hard to see, but Looks like we go through 200 meters in just under 28 seconds, maybe. 29! And then Calvin there helping, he yells the split 29. I couldn't hear him from all the way over there, but he was a little bit late, but to be fair, it's hard to see from all the way over there. Now you can hear this guy in the stand helping me out, giving me some advice, telling me to breathe and keep my arms up. That's good advice. And there you have it, 58 seconds. I know that's accurate because I used oh, editing you did software. Oh, 59, Steven. 59? 59, 23. <laughs> to capture frame by frame. Yes. Oh, calculate yeah. the exact time. I gotta time. call the pet people back. Now he was I hand timing it. with my stopwatch and clocked a 59. Thank you so much, Calvin. Oh, no problem. Point two three. Good job. You. You so not too far off. I used to run at St. Pius the 10th. Uh -huh. I hear he was just asking me about my running experience. And I ran it for the University of Georgia oh, okay. for a few years. Mm -hmm. And I was gasping for I'm air. Just, so out of breath. Sometimes I just run for fun now. Mm -hmm. I haven't been I haven't been running for like five years. Uh -huh. But this year, like a month, month and a half ago, I started running a little bit. Just trying to get back in shape. But I haven't done any sprinting like this. Like I'm a distance runner. Mm -hmm. So I ran 5K, 8K. 10k in high school I ran the mile two mile okay. but I just wanted to see what kind of speed I have because my friend challenged me to a 400 meter race oh, on wow. Wednesday just randomly uh, and I just did it and I was like I ran a 60 and I was like for not doing any any sort of training or sprint work that's pretty good so I just wanted to see if I could beat that okay. and beat it we did wow. thank you Hopefully I can get more like 56.